Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 3D Experience Forum here at the beautiful Caesars Palace. I have with me today two executives from L&T Technologies, Hari and Sunil, and we'll discuss how they are not only a partner with the SUS systems on the 3D Experience platform, they're also a customer as well. Hari and Sunil, welcome. Thanks for your time today. Thank, Thank you, you, Luis. Could you explain for the audience's benefits how you're working with Dassault uh, in the partner as well as in a customer capacity? For sure, yes, absolutely. Uh, for those who don't know LNT uh, as a group, we are an $18 billion engineering procurement and construction company that originally uh, is based out of India, but today operates worldwide. Um, Three billion of that 18 billion comes from services. Um, and so L&T Technology Services is a part of the arm that fundamentally picks up um, uh, where the EPC business uh, drops off, which is to figure out um, where and what we could do to support our enterprises complete their 21st century digital renaissance, so mm -hmm. to speak, uh, with all the transformation capabilities. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's what we do. Excellent. Would you like to add anything to that? Oh, I think uh, Hari covered most of it, and I think the services standpoint, we are diverse in industry. We work in all the industries. We service any kind of need, right? Make to order, custom to order, configured to order. So we are leveraging the Dassault platform to enable all these kind of needs. Excellent, excellent. Our journey with Dassault, Louis, to your earlier question, is really interesting. Uh, we have a truly 360 degree relationship with Dassault. Uh, we buy from Dassault, we are a Dassault customer. Um, uh, many of our businesses consume Dassault's uh, products in many ways, designs, digital mockups, uh, PLM products, as well as now the 3D experience platform. Uh, in fact, LNT uh, may be one of the first hydrocarbon businesses worldwide that will deploy on the 3D experience platform in the next couple of years, so we're very excited about that. Mm -hmm. But we also support many of our enterprise customers succeed with the Dassault platform. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can imagine, the digital transformation journey is not a one-stop uh, uh, journey. Uh, it's really about uh, being able to understand whether you can simulate and test before you build products. That is so important for so, so many of our customers and the 3D experience platform allows us to do that. It allows us to provide the capabilities to help our customers simulate, test, design the best products before they even build it. And that's the exciting part of what we do at LNT. What are the common challenges that you're helping your customers overcome using the 3D experience platform to be able to reinvent themselves for the 21st century? Yeah, we've, uh, we've had a great time with the platform. A couple of great uh, stories that come to mind. Um, we're working with uh, one of the Fortune 50 uh, uh, CPG uh, giants in the world, uh, specifically around uh, how they can look at reducing uh, the the amount of uh, laboring errors they have in their products. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for example, we've been able to help them reduce their labeling errors for their products by about 70% um, and uh, uh, reduce the de uh, design time by about 30%. Doing that uh, across the entire ecosystem of their business, uh, handling about 500 million records, uh, over 50,000 users, is a very complex process and the 3D experience platform allows us to bring all of that together and execute and deliver those outcomes. So you're helping your customers via the 3D experience platform Correct. to turn what would be manual weaknesses into automated strengths. Right. And everything across the entire design spectrum. The entire thing. Can you walk us through a scenario where one of your customers has uh, partnered with you and Dassault Systems on the 3D experience platform to streamline the development of a smart connected product, for example, because that seems to be the future direction of the industry. For sure. I think uh, the direction everybody is taking is very common nowadays. The challenges are also common, but the journey is different. You know, everybody's starting at a different stage, getting, they all have a vision to get there, but the problem is the kind of maturity they face or they are at and the kind of challenges they face in terms of meeting the expectation for a customer is the biggest, it varies, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the value we bring to the customer by leveraging 3D platform is to assess where they stand and understand what cater solution they need, understand their processes challenges, understand their organization challenges, 
we help them put together a roadmap and strategy how they can get and meet to those kind of advanced capabilities like digital twin or smart connected products and all that. And has that led to entirely new product roadmaps with your customers? Have they been able to generationally leap into the next generation of their products because of what you're doing in conjunction with those systems on the experience, 3D experience platform? Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. So, we, so there, nobody can wipe off everything what they got, right? Sure. And there are definitely a need for new technologies in the picture. So like we heard in the keynote speakers, you know, they're all evolving and maturing to the next level. So the, the advantage we have with the platform is it has the ability to connect to legacy system as well as to adopt a new technologies in there. So mm -hmm. that is the main, brings the, you know, that's the main paradigm shift and enables the capability overall. So if you take the 3D experience platform today, it has the unique ability to address both what is legacy, you know, essentially what you've adopted and brought forward from the past. Mm -hmm. But those are systems that need to uh, be more efficient, to, you know, deliver faster results. And so uh, what you do with the platform to support that is a little different from what you can do with what's available to go forward with. Uh, going forward, it's all, of, all about developing new products, developing new experiences. Yep. And so we find that 3D Experience Platform brings in the right balance between what we can do with the past and what we can do with the future in this entire life cycle. And it's a complex life cycle because you're starting with the, uh, the conception of a product, uh, the engineering of a product, the production of the product, and essentially the, the, the life cycle of even having to operate with the product. Um, so all of these capabilities are available on the platform today, uh, and we have some great customer success stories that uh, we're excited about. Excellent. Could you share one? So I think the CPG illustration was one of them. So Nil, maybe you can talk a little bit more about it. Well, we work uh, across multi-industries, right? So we have examples from aerospace and defense. We have examples from you know industrial product companies. So uh, working in different technologies, working in different domains, different capacity, is the is the our core competency. We are able to, you know, grow and expand to uh, any level with the level of vision they're looking at. And then we also work in the smaller, narrow down problems where we're trying to solve the low hanging fruits and kind of issues they're facing, and then try to, you know, take it to the next level and. Get them to a That's a fascinating methodology because it means obviously you can flex and scale as your customers' business models flex and scale. And to your point of legacy systems, some of those systems were built for business models decades ago. Uh, and being able to harvest data that may be marginally valuable now um, provides that progression and that knowledge base overall. What are you seeing uh, with regards to moving more into digitized product development uh, and with your customers and with your own business, uh, moving more into a, from digital concept design into delivered product uh, with the 3D experience platform, allowing for greater uh, collaboration and knowledge sharing. What, what are some of your insights about that? From, from everything that we've seen today, uh, it's about bringing knowledge and know-how together to deliver that experience. Uh, and so for us to be able to work with digital native customers, for example, uh, help them with the process of the design, the mock-ups, and the ability for them to understand if that product will succeed or fail even before they actually build it and produce it is a very important aspect of how they need to succeed. Uh, and so we've got some great illustrations yep. of that as yep. well. Just to add, uh, the, what digital has done for all the industries, it has opened up many avenues, you know, how they can monetize this capability to end customer, right? So we talk right from getting an opportunity to the decommissioning of an asset. Mm -hmm. In that whole journey and the life cycle, there are many new avenues have opened up. Like, I'll give you an example. We were talking about case study. In oil and gas, typically the asset lives long life, right? And there is a lot of opportunity in the service as maintained as service product. There are a lot of ways, the traditional ways to maintain the product are, you know, you give a warranty, you have a way how you deal with that, and you have a commitment to serve the product for certain in year. Now it has changed that my, I know based on the data and analytics and the performance, my product can live more longer life. So based on that, I can get a 
payback kind of terms and conditions. Say, okay, I'm, I can assure you this product will live for five years without any issues. We'll serve that. Beyond that, we'll start charge back. Mm -hmm. So these kind of a new transformation with the confidence on the data and the performance you can do. Similarly for other industries, so they're all looking into new avenues where they can grow and make more money and get the, you know, the, yeah. give the value back to the customer. Sure. It uh, opens up an entirely new revenue stream for them, uh, for being able to look at service lifecycle management and be able to monetize the service on that warranted asset. Often that's a forgotten revenue stream for so many manufacturers and being able to use a 3D experience platform in conjunction with your exceptional expertise uh, and knowledge in your business to be able to deliver that value is exceptional. That is true and, and in many of the industries we operate today, um, Louis, what is really cool is um, being an $18 billion company that's in everything from oil and gas to manufacturing and industrial uh, to transportation, uh, we bring direct subject matter expertise that allows them uh, to have a trusted advisor that also understands the 3D experience platform. I think together it's a great combination and we're excited uh, to, to work with Dassault on that. Yeah, and trust is a great accelerator, don't you think? Uh, it absolutely is, Louis. In fact, it's a force multiplier for us, uh, Dassault, LNTTS, and our customers. We're excited. Excellent. Thanks both for being on. I really appreciate your time. Fascinating discussion. Pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for your time today. And if you like additional information on Dassault Systems 3D Experience platform, please go to our website. Make it a great day.